from you right away. Since I've been making dumb bitches see you like United Way. Stories you told me about him, I can see that it's night and day. Walking from here to my bedroom, and feel like it's miles away. Hey y'all, welcome back to another new to the mic session, and yay, I finally have a couch. Well, sorta. As you just saw, I literally only have a piece of the couch, and then there's the oversized swivel chair Ooh. that got delivered as well. So at this time, the manufacturers were still dealing with back orders, so my couch had to be delivered by pieces whenever they would be back in stock. Might sound crazy to deal with, but I really didn't care because prior to this move, I haven't had a couch in like probably close to a year, if not over a year. I'll explain why in my testimony episode of this moving series. I absolutely love the couch. I was searching high and low because I wanted a very specific color and style. I also wanted all cushions from the seat to the back to be detached and reversible. Having a couch with that component was a must because it will prolong the life of the sectional that I got. And listen, furniture can be quite expensive. Why not try to get the max life out of it? Now I'm just assembling my end table and coffee table. I've had these for a minute now, so there's some wear on the legs, but the glass on both are still in great shape. I've been low key wanting to spray paint the legs a like silver color what do y'all think? Comment down below if I should paint it or leave it black. And there you have it. you guys um i am finally trying to film this part of the vlog where i was going to unbox a lot of the stuff that i got from amazon that i literally got uh last week every single day i had a delivery and i barely opened up the packages and i need to open them so i can put this stuff up i did open one thing because i needed it right away and it was to um like mount my daughter's tv uh, not really mount it but secure it so i had to open that right away and the rest of that was in this package and i honestly i don't even remember what half this stuff was so that amazon tape is strong So this is the wipe dispenser that I got for the bathroom because the bathroom theme is like this black, white, grayish and I thought this would look really cute. Behind the potty with this nice matte black wipe holder so that your wipes aren't just out there. Yes. Oh, oh and it stays open. Okay, cool. Nice. Can't wait to use that. Put that in the bathroom. And I'm assuming it just... Okay, yeah. Oh, okay. It pops up, but it has like this nice suction on it. Hopefully this fits the wipes. It looks, this looks a little short. But I'm sure it will. You could just squeeze it in there. Nice. Cute. Okay, moving on to the next thing. Okay, this next thing I think is my glass water holder or it's really any liquid but i'm using it specifically for water Ooh. 
feels like Christmas. Let me see. Oh, oh wait, there's two things in here. What is this? Okay, so hold on first. This is what I was talking about. This glass pitcher. Why does this look so small? It says like a hold up to 68 ounces. Oh, oh. I thought this thing was gonna be like huge. So it comes with the glass container and a scrubby brush just for this, which is kind of cool. It comes with this stainless steel top. I don't know if you can see it. Ooh, be careful when you put that down too. I saw in the reviews people like put it down on their counter and it cracks, so be careful with that. Um, it has like an open side which will just pour everything out like normal but then it also has like a strainer side so if you have like fruit or something if you're making a sangria you obviously don't want the fruit chunks to come out unless you do but this will just just pour out the liquid and hold back anything solid so i thought that was kind of cool um again yeah just be careful when you put it down so that it doesn't break but this is so cute they have like a bunch of these at like Home Goods and TJ Maxx and stuff, but for one, most of them that I've seen are plastic and I did not want plastic and they're smaller. I wanted something that could hold like a lot of liquid. So I'll be using this for like two of my gallon waters. I actually probably need to get two or three more of these. Yeah, two of them for water and then like one for another type of juice or something. I don't know if I'm going to be that person that's going to be switching the juice containers into another container. The water is one thing, but I don't know. We're going to see. Okay, next was the other thing in that same Amazon package. But I, I really don't remember what I bought. It's crazy. What is... Oh, oh, I'm excited for this. I mean, I'm excited for all of this stuff, but... So, this is a scrub brush that I bought specifically to clean the tub and like the bathroom but you can use it anywhere you can use it in the kitchen you can use it on your windows okay cool Comes with a little charger oh so it is okay I was telling my coworker I was like I think it's run on batteries but that would be cool if it was rechargeable so here's a little like corner piece so you can really get in them corners and in the grout lines and just really clean, which uh, I love just having like a nice, clean, clean space. So, oh my gosh, this thing is huge. <laughs> I didn't realize it was that big. But so, here's the actual brush. So, it's an electric cleaning brush, like I said. So, you just put those attachments on. I'm not going to do it now. But once I um, do the bathroom, you guys will see that. So stay tuned to watch me decorate the bathroom. Um, you just attach it here, spin it. So you don't have to literally be on your hands and knees scrubbing your life away, trying to get stuff clean. So this is pretty cool. And it's actually, this does not feel cheap. And it, it wasn't a cheap price, I don't think, to me. It was like almost $40. But it, like, it feels pretty, pretty decent. So I hope... It's actually good quality as far as it working, and I hope it lasts, because that's one thing too, is some of the stuff over Amazon. It'd be nice for the moment, but it doesn't last. So, what? Oh, okay, I see. What is this? Flat countertop acrylic. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> I really don't even, I don't remember getting this. Not the way that this is describing it from everything else that I can see in here. Wait, what? What is this? Because uh, once again, I'm reading the box and I'm like, I don't remember ordering this. I remember looking at this, but hold on. Because if this is what I think it is, why did I, why did I buy this? So I already kind of had a vision in mind and this wasn't going to work. Oh, what? Okay, never mind. I know what this is. But why did it say a plant stand with three storage shelves? That's what confused me because I was looking at something else that was an actual plant stand. 
And I'm like, oh, I thought I decided against that. This is the shoe shelf. Maybe it's for plants or you can use it for plants, but I'm using it for shoes, which is weird because on Amazon, it's literally like the pictures show people's shoes. Anyways, so I mean, I can't really really see it and I'm not going to take it out because it's a lot of pieces. I will probably be putting this together today again, very overdue, but it's a three shelf for shoes, but the top shelf is probably just going to be used for like decor and then the bottom two shelves are for shoes so when you walk in the door you don't just have shoes thrown all over the place it looks nice and neat and then the top part i'm going to be using for a bench like not me specifically but i thought in mind for like you know my daughter or my mom when they come over and they're taking off their shoes and stuff like that especially my mom if she's wearing like some crazy boot that are coming all the way to the living room she can sit right at the door and take them off and put them where they belong i was thinking from my daughter too when she's waiting you know in the morning when we're getting ready to go to school and i'm just grabbing some last minute things she already has her shoes on she can sit and just wait there right mamas Bye. one thing that i got and i'm like so excited to do this because i'm so overdue on trying to organize my coffee station and it's this six tier k-pod holder that can hold up to 54 pods i know you're like probably who has that many pods why do you have that many pods and i'll explain that when we go to organize the actual drawer and the area so and you know what's cool about this is that you can actually take the tiers off so say you don't want to have that many on the counter or whatever you can take the tear off just hold less so they come like that so you can take it off if you need to you can add more if you need to and i thought that was really cool okay the other part of that i got was the tea organizer um and when i told my mom i was like oh yeah i got a k-cup carousel it's not really a carousel because i don't think it's thin does it I don't know yeah i think it does but anyways i got like a k-cup organizer and a tea bag organizer just like what's that i'm like it's literally just containers that hold your tea bag but it makes it nice and neat it makes it look cute and organized okay that is the most important oh i shouldn't have took this out this looks so clean and clear should have waited but oh my gosh that looks so good and i'll show you how i'm gonna do it because at first i was like oh yeah it's going to be side to side, but it really doesn't have to. And I think I have an idea of how I'm going to organize it, but make it look real nice. So that's why I was confused with this because there's nothing else in here. But this literally just looks like the lid part of something that I bought. Unless, oh, maybe. Okay, okay. I gotta pay attention. I've been on Amazon like this. I do really do my research, but this like confused me for a second. Okay, so this looks like it's just like, what is that? So obviously it's another K-pod holder, but it comes with these legs. You pop them in or however you install them, push it in, up, down, whatever. And then it sits in your drawer or you can put it on your countertop. I'm putting mine in the drawer. Um, and then it just kind of stands there and then you just insert the k-pods again so now you're this holds 24 k-pods so you're probably like why do you have that that holds 54 plus this that holds 24 i'm telling you wait and see it's gonna make sense so yeah all together we got a lot got a lot of k-cups that need to be held so We'll do this together. That's also probably, it might be in this vlog. It might be in another one where I go to organize that drawer. Because like I said, I'm overdue on that. So I want to get that done as soon as possible. So I can function better in my space, you know? What is the theme for all of this stuff? And it's all this stuff is overdue for me to have put up already. Um, this one wasn't a big deal, but I did want to have it up sooner rather than later last i think it's last i don't know really see i don't understand why they be wasting cardboard and stuff like this what please look at this somebody come look at this 
I can't really show you the box because it's got my address and stuff on it, but I can show you the bottom. This is the size of the box. Okay? This is the size of the product. Why? Why? You can't tell me you didn't have a box smaller than this for this, but okay. And it's not like this was like something that's like fragile and it needed to be protected with. This was the protection anyway. Online. On Amazon, they described it as a privacy window film, which I'll show you guys that when I organize my balcony. That, that's what this is for, for the door to the balcony, because obviously it's just like a window. It's just clear. You can see right in it. So like my neighbors from across the way, they could literally look right in here. They actually can probably see me right now. Um, so this will go right on the door. You can kind of see. So it's like you can, it's frosted. But it also has like this really beautiful, to me, in my opinion, design. Because they have like, if you've seen um, on Amazon or anywhere, people have like the contact paper. But it's just like, it's frosted. It just looks like regular frosted film. But I, I didn't want that. I didn't want that to be like super regular. I wanted a little bit of, you know, some design, something pretty to look at inside and out. So if you could kind of see, it has like these rectangle shapes and it's not a hundred percent blockage which i was okay with because i still want the natural light to come in that way but i just don't want you to be able to see me like you know if i'm walking around in my underwear or something at night trying to grab a snack chilling in the living room and i forget i didn't want that now your other option you can do like a curtain i've seen people do i didn't want that i didn't i didn't want a curtain i don't know why i just didn't because i know i'm going to be hanging up curtains on the window and I just thought like it was it was too much. But this, I feel like it's, it's another good option, but it's also really cute. So I'm saying it's not 100%, so you'll still be able to see like silhouettes, which I'm okay with. They do have, um, I think, higher density where you can't see anything at all. Um, I didn't want that, like I said, I still want the light to see through. So if you can see like my finger, Not 100%. I have some other stuff over here that I had in this pile. It's not really Amazon and it's not really an unboxing, but I figured I'd show you guys. Anyway, some new things that I got. So some wall plugins with the scent control because that is so important. Sometimes you don't want to be like hit with like all that smell. You just want it to be nice. So the fact that you can control the scent is actually really nice. Now I've had their plugins before. Actually, I think I only had one, and it's a nightlight one, and you just turn on and off the nightlight, you plug it in, that's it. I never had the scent control one, and it says that it does low, medium, and high. This is like this nice, very beautiful taupe color that's going to go in the kitchen. Then I have this black color that's going to go in the bathroom, because you like a shed. Got the black theme going on, even though this one's a little bit more, definitely not the same color black, but that's okay. Um, but it has like a little bit of gloss at the top and the, I wanted the, the black in the back to be more matte, but that's okay. But I actually think I'm probably going to switch this out because I saw that they had a, a black marble one. And I'm just saying, I, I think that's going to work better. And then this one from my daughter's room. It's like a pink. I'm not sure where this is going. I just really loved what it said. So I grabbed it. <laughs> you can't stop the waves, but you can learn to surf. Nice little wave and i just thought that was so cool because you know life be life and right and you you can't stop that but you can learn how to move with it maneuver through it and grow out of it so i just i like that and things like that i like seeing around to so just keep my mind focused and to let me know to not give up and um roll with the punches so i'm gonna clean up over here we're gonna put some of this stuff together like the coffee station i definitely want to organize that some of the stuff in the bathroom i definitely want to put this window film on again like i said they literally can look right in here and see me what up y'all um and i think that's it everything else i haven't bought yet it's on the way so just stay tuned if you want to see me put these things together if you want to see how they come together and yeah
Okay, so this is the final look for the um, shoe shelf bench. So it's gonna go right next to the door. I actually, I want it facing this way because all the legs are actually like different. I, I like this one. So I'm gonna have it go here. Literally, I think it like just fits. Okay, so this is gonna go right here. And when I tell you like this measure to the T, I really obviously didn't want it to go past here, but I couldn't find one small enough to do what I needed, which was hold the shoes, but also be able to hold the weight of a person who's sitting down taking off their shoes. So, I mean, it's, it's not in the way and it's not super um, deep where you're coming in and you don't have enough space to not walk into it. Um, and even I could just just a little if that makes a difference but so yeah so yeah like my daughter has like all these shoes right here so normally these wouldn't even be out it would just be like your most worn shoes just to go out real quick but just to show you guys i left the shoes here so you could probably hold a lot of shoes again it's not supposed to be for me holding a bunch of shoes but if you have like a bunch of company over you're definitely probably going to be able to fit at least four pairs of children's shoes and maybe three pairs of adult shoes. And then also, like I said, I believe I got to put it on the screen, but it said that it holds up to like over 200 pounds or something like that. Almost 300. So that'll be good. We're going to test it out. Whoever breaks it, Amazon, you got to run me my money back or something. Oh, can get enough of